Nacho, how do you feel? In, uh, in 2009, you were in Miami, you were exposing at uh, Design Miami. Uh, arrives someone called Brad Pitt and says, okay, I'll buy the whole show. How, you, how did you feel in that moment? <laughs> actually good. <laughs> no, I mean, actually I really, uh, in a way, I appreciate that this happened. And uh, my, my favorite thing is like uh, seeing the, the taste of the, this collector. I mean, he bought everything. Uh, if I will be able to buy, I will buy. So I think like, uh, yeah, it's, it, was, it was a nice experience. But uh, does it change something? I mean, um, the, the big success that you're having with your work, does it change anything or... or I mean, because Martin, I know Martin very well, I must tell you. And Martin has always been the same, it doesn't change at all. You feel that uh, um, your vision, because of this success, is a little bit... I don't know, are you... How are you living this golden moment? I didn't, I didn't change uh, personally that much. I, I'm thinking like I'm a you person. You have a girlfriend. You still have the same girlfriend. I still have the same girlfriend. I have another girlfriend for eight years uh, or more, and uh, I still have the same girlfriend. I still live on a, as a squatter or anti-squatter. I, I work in an empty building as a anti-squatter, so I still like cannot afford to really like have like a normal uh, life, and I'm happy with it. And uh, just it keeps me really even more passionate uh, with uh, my work. That uh, to see, uh, to have a kind of a recognition, to see like uh, my my business go well, it just make me feel like I should go even deeper in my uh, yeah in my creations. That's actually the way it changed. Like my uh, to be even more eager to produce more and more of my uh, things. And the the titles of your show are quite interesting. One was evolution, this other is diversity. These words are keywords in your life or not? Evolution and diversity are very strong words, eh? Yeah. I actually like, uh, see, like, I, I, I like to use uh, terms like uh, just belong to um, biology, almost. I think like, kind of like maybe having like, my frustrated uh, profession. I could see myself when I was 18, uh, if I wanted to do something, uh, be uh, a marine biologist and then like just uh, be scuba diving and uh, dancing with dolphins the whole do you day, you know? Dive? Yeah, I scuba dive and uh, I just love it. I have, I have, I had like a strong relationship always with the, with the sea. My grandparents had like a uh, house like that. You open the, 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 the door and then you were in the beach, you were in the sea, and I have been like always always uh, on, uh, close to water, so. And living in the Netherlands, don't you miss the, the sun of Valencia? Extremely. <laughs> and, and why do you still live there? I mean, it's quite interesting, this. For me, it's like a... Couldn't you work everywhere in the world, or not? No, I don't think so. I mean, the context is so important. The context of uh, what I'm doing, I'm sure like, I will not have been able to, to create it anywhere else. I mean, uh, if I just stay in Spain, probably I will be like an industrial designer, designing uh, toasters and uh, for, or furniture or, or just struggling to, to have a normal job in a normal company, you know? But my... Uh, something inside of me just told me like, okay, you need to do something else, you need to discover something else, you need to go deeper. So... Just and in Eindhoven, you think there is the possibility of going deeper? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Nothing is happening uh, in the, there, or like no, no much is happening, or not for me or as well. Like so, like I was there. I, I just found kind of a sanctuary where I could get like deeper in myself. I mean, in the city. I mean, you're out of the school now, but in the city, the influence of the school is still very strong. I mean, you you are surrounded by very creative young people. I mean, how does it work? I mean, that's what mm, still keeps you there. What do you think? There actually are the opportunities that you have there since. In Eindhoven? Uh, yeah, the opportunity. I mean, I have been like, like you said, like working in a church 25 meters. Uh, yeah, but you can find a church in Valencia as well, I'm sure. For free? Yeah, I mean, someone will pay for it. Money is the last yeah. problem, always in life, always. Well, uh, no one you are starting, no one knows you. And, uh, so no if we find you a church here in Milano, would you move here? Uh, well, you find it and then we will talk no, about it. No, but seriously, no, no, but because it's very important, the context. I mean, you're talking about the context. I, I, I really believe that the context 
is very important. So that I really want you to, to defend the fact of living in Eindhoven. That must be a real choice, especially from someone like you. I mean, you could go live anywhere in the world. I yeah, don't think like the that, only I mean, like reason that. is because the church is free. No, and it's not all for that. I mean, like, you imagine like, I've been there in, involved in the school for two years and a half. That really made me really be very involved with my work and really like uh, in this uh, dynamic of working you just uh, start creating your network no uh, like uh, unconsciously or almost I did my internship there then you start having like to know people to know places where you can uh, find your own material to, to you just establish yourself without like uh, almost noticing no and uh, I thought like when uh, once I will finish uh, uh, with the school I will just uh, jump uh, back to Spain but in that moment I just feel, felt afraid in a way to really say like, okay if I just jump to Spain I mean like why what is it uh, waiting for me in Spain right now here I just build a kind of a career I just build uh, my first step uh, the city is kind of supporting I have like an amazing opportunity like really like in terms like I can live without nothing, without worrying like uh, what is, will happen if I don't have money. So yeah, this really helped me uh, to, to build my career. So that's why I never thought about like uh, for now moving. Excuse me, Brad Pitt bought a whole show, a solo show from Natural Carbone. Yeah. And you still <laughs> have money problems? I mean, I invested in the new show. <laughs> Come on, someone pays for the show, Doris. Anyway, no. and, um, do you like the work of uh, Jaime? Uh, yeah, Jaime is a fantastic person as well. I mean, I, I like uh, his work and I like uh, him uh, very much as a person. It's a very different way of being Spanish, huh? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, of course, you still see like these uh, similarities, but you see like also uh, see that like, he had like his approach, you know, about uh, what is design or uh, what is art. Also, like uh, he's like um, giving this question about like, okay, what what is he doing? Is he an artist? Is he a designer? Is he just like like he's kind of like a freelancer of a a, a creator of a freelance creator, no? Let's say. You st he studied at Fabrica. You studied at Eindhoven. You think that the school where you study has got a strong influence on what you will do? Definitely. I mean, uh, without me going to uh, Eindhoven, with me, without me traveling around, without me living the experience that I left, uh, it's impossible. It's not only the school, it's, it's kind of like the whole the thing, not the environment, every experience that, uh, that you had in life. Nacho, it was very, very nice to meet you. I really like the, I, yes, I like the work, and I like the man. Really, okay. thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for okay. coming. Thank you. Grazie. Grazie. I love your suit, man. I just, wear, I always wear one of those in the studio. You know, I'm like. Until when? Uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five means Sunday, Monday. Yeah. Thank you, my friend.